Hey guys, how are you? Tom McKeown from www.yourtruechange.com. Uh, I'm going to start recording a new series on top of all of the uh, social media and network marketing and business development tutorials uh, that I give. I want you to understand that I am a real person uh, that has real thoughts and goes through a, uh, all types of real life stuff just like you do every single day. Uh, the uh, name of the series is going to be called The Scheme Life. Uh, this is this is officially episode one. Uh, what it's like uh, to be in the uh, life uh, live of a uh, full-time network marketer uh, that works from home. Um, and you know, it, it's not going to be based off of this you know boring biography with people just like you know, sitting around, kind of like you know, shooting the crap in the breeze. It's going to be just a bunch of really interesting, uh, sometimes random, and um, kind of thrilling, exciting things. Uh, to kind of go to show you what it's like uh, in both mine and my wife uh, Jessica Campos's life, um, you know, on an almost uh, daily basis. And right here, the uh, title of episode one uh, is, of course, the death of good pizza. And this is really important for me. Uh, I'm someone who's a native of the New York City metropolitan area, and you know, I take my pizza very seriously. I have come to the conclusion that pizza in most of um, the the uh, the U.S. Uh, is very bad, uh, but you always have you know some good places even in some non-pizza centric cities, right? So obviously New York and in Connecticut and in you know Jersey and in Chicago, even South Florida, you know so th 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 those are kind of the main pizza-centric places, where are you going to find the best pizza, right? Uh, I'm here in Austin, Texas now, not a lot of great pizza, but there's some decent and okay places, and one really good New York uh, pizza place that we do have here that holds me over. But uh, something this past weekend took place um, that really just uh, put me over the top, and I almost just felt like doing what Tom Cruise did in Jerry Maguire when he basically went and quit his job and said, I'm just getting ready to flip out, okay? And I'll show you exactly what happened. Uh, I had a party here on Saturday night with a couple of friends to watch a college football game. And I ordered four pizzas, and it cost me 50 bucks, large pizzas. Okay, that's about average. Uh, and I said, okay, I'll, I'll be back in about 45 minutes to pick them up. The guy's like, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Anyway, I go... Uh, to pick up the four pizzas. And keep in mind, this is already three days ago now. And the fact that we already ha we still have one of the pizzas here, to kind of give you a hint on what I'm going to show here, here's Jess right here. Hey, babe. Jess, of course, is a... Uh, Jess, of course, is going to be due uh, with um, our fourth child any day now. So, she's getting ready. She yeah. might uh, be ready to pop right in the middle of this video, so be careful. But back to uh, the pizza. Um, I got four pizzas, uh, and the guy, instead of coming out with a bunch of hot boxes, comes out with four of these. Yeah, that's right. Four big slobs of dough with a bunch of in cold ingredients on it, uncooked. I looked, I was about to fall on my ass, I could not believe it, and I said, I'm sorry, what, what is this? And the guy looked at me and says, Oh, I'm sorry. We don't actually bake the pizzas here. We just simply make them for you and you take it home and bake. Now, for those of you who have an appreciation for pizza such as myself and good pizza, can you imagine if you spent 50 bucks for four of these things and you were getting ready to go to a family party or some sort of function and had these ready for people to eat and they just gave you a bunch of crap that you can get off the grocery shelves? I won't even mention uh, the uh, name uh, of this place because in case this video does get, you know, uh, you have, like you know, millions upon billions of hits one day, uh, maybe I'll get sued. Uh, but all I'll basically say is this. Is it just me or is it the quality of the pizza in the way that it's cooked? Don't you sit there and pay money for pizza based on being able to go to a place that has a big ass industrial oven that most people don't have in their house or to go where they have some big like you know brick or cold fire, fi fired oven 
or way to cook the pizza, and you're giving me a bunch of dough, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, but the do-it-yourself era uh, has officially gone overboard. It started with Home Depot. Okay, that's great. You know, I can water my own lawn. I can build half my house by myself with all these do-it-yourself kits, okay? But now, do-it-yourself pizza from a freaking pizza place? Are you joking me? What's next? Do-it-yourself diapers? You want to give me all the raw materials so I can go and build my daughter's diapers? Do-it-yourself, you know, uh, suits? I'll go to a tailor, and I'll sit there, and I'll get the, like, you know, needles and the sewing machine and the cotton and all the fabric to make my own suit? No thanks. I pay you money. You do the work. I don't want to learn. That's it, okay? Uh, so this right here should be a symbol that the do-it-yourself era has officially uh, gone overboard. So uh, thanks for joining. Uh, that's me. That's episode one of The Scheme Life. Uh, I'm Tom McKeown, www.yourtruechange.com. Thanks for watching.